Hi, this is Mike, and in this demo, we're going to look at the uh, MBean browser for uh, Mission Control. So this is the MBeans tab group I have pulled up here, and we have an MBean browser tab and a triggers tab. The triggers tab we'll talk about in a separate demo, but the MBean browser tab shows all that attribute information and allows us to do various things with that um, that we saw earlier. So if I click on, um, let's say, uh, operating system here, you'll see all sorts of information displayed and I can mouse over that and I get detailed um, information about what that attribute does, etc. So you see at the top of the page here, I have an attributes tab, an operations tab, notifications, and metadata. So we'll look at each one of those in turn, but first here while we're in attributes, let's, let's see what we can do with that. And um, I'm going to go here to the Eden space. And we looked at that earlier in a previous demo. I'm going to go ahead and look at that used attribute. Let's say I wanted to, to uh, graph that. If I right click it, notice I can visualize. Um, so if I click that, look at that. Those are the default charts that are on the general tab. So if I click on add, it adds a chart. I click OK. And now if we switch back to the general tab and I scroll down, I've just added an Eden space chart uh, like I did in a previous demo. So you can do that. You can update your, your interface for the, for the general tab there from the MBeans tab group, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset this. And then let's go back to the MBeans tab. So that's what you can do with attributes. You can look at them, see what the information is about that, and um, you know, graph it if you wish or, or whatever. The operations tabs allows you to perform operations on certain attributes. So in this case, I wanna, I'm want gonna go ahead and, and close up the memory pool there, and let me um, open up Hotspot Diagnostic. And this has a couple attributes where I can query the virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and choose get VM and with that I can actually do queries on the virtual machine. So this is it has one parameter, it takes a value. So let's try let's find out what the max tenuring is set to on this virtual machine. So if I say max tenuring threshold and I click execute then I can see that that is set to the default value of 15. So we can do that. We can we can do queries against certain attributes and get data back. And another thing we can do on some um, values is we can actually go in here and set them. So so for example, um, I've got uh, a, well this this has a set VM option, so I can actually set VM values from here. So let's say I wanted to turn on um, the GC details output for the program I'm running. So I can do print GC details and I'm going to set that to true. And if I hit execute, I don't get an error message, so that executed. So if I jump back to my virtual machine, I should see right here my garbage collection details be printing out, printing out to the console so that's what I would expect um, so it's pretty cool so if you want to change or experiment with stuff you can do it right from the mission control interface so if I want to turn that off I simply go back here set this to false execute again once again no error message so I think that worked and if I jump back I should see that I'm no longer getting the output. So, um, cool stuff. We can also look at notifications. The notifications tabs allows us to uh, get uh, any sort of information that we want to be notified about. So if I go to the uh, garbage collection aggregator here, that, that particular attribute, um, 
I can ask to be notified when a garbage collection takes place. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to click subscribe. Now every time there's a garbage collection, as there was one just there, I'm going to get a message about that in this log here below. So let's go ahead and let it uh, accumulate a few. There we go, that's good. And then I'm just going to turn that back off. And you can see here that you can go in and look at the details of what that message was about. So I had a garbage collection and I can dig deeper into there, find out what kind it was. It was a miner it looks like. And as I dig in, I have things like time before, time after, um, the thread count, um, memory usage before. So you can find out, um, there's lots of detailed information here you can drill into um, about garbage collection. But anyway, that gives you an idea what the three tabs are for. Uh, metadata is basically just metadata about a particular attribute. So if I highlight that attribute, um, then you'll see um, just metadata that's related to that. So that's basically uh, what the MBeans browser does.